Hello, I'm Rand here, and today we're going to be looking at the uh, tool chest here. This is going to be part two of the shop tour. So we're going to be looking at it. We got uh, four different uh, tool chests here we're going to be looking at. And uh, yeah, let's get started here. And of course, if you missed the first part, of course, make sure you go uh, check that out here. Just give you folks a quick pan around in case you didn't miss it, just so you can see kind of the basic layout of the shop here. Of course, the uh, main workbench area over there. And there is more workbench behind the uh, the project there. So a uh, tool chest we'll be looking at, of course, that one there. And then over here, we got uh, one, two, and three over here as well. Uh, this was a, isn't so much tools in this one, just uh, miscellaneous stuff in that one. But uh, we didn't look at it last video, so we'll look at it this video here. And of course, we'll try to keep it uh, moving here again so it doesn't uh, take too long. I know I was surprised at how long last video was, and I thought I'd try to keep it moving. So let's get started here. Uh, we'll start this uh, Craftsman here. Uh, we'll start right with the top. Just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff up here. Pliers, punch, uh, cutters, air nozzle, long air nozzle, some auger bits and longer drill bits in the back here. Like I said longer drill bits, uh, wire, or electrical tool, some Vaseline, I don't think it's actually in there. Uh, spark plug tools over here. And hopefully that sun isn't too uh, bad on the camera here, so hopefully you folks can see. Uh, ruler, uh, some gauges there, battery uh, tool, and that does have, if I can get it off one-handed here, there's the uh, post as well, or for inside the actual, the terminal. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, let's see, another ruler, file, uh, this uh, battery terminal puller here, uh, uh, jigsaw blades, a little pliers. Again, this is why I was saying everyone, I want to get another uh, pliers rack there because we got a couple pliers in here, the cutters, that, another electrical tool. Uh, we also got a bunch of punches over here. So there's a bunch of punches. Okay, moving down here, we got. Uh, fuel line disconnect tools. Uh, these are little pieces for, let's see where, oh, here they are. Uh, right here for snap rings, a couple different size, couple different angles. Uh, plumb bob. Uh, more fuel line disconnect tools, various sizes. Uh, a door latch, uh, Teflon tape. Uh, reaming tool. I think what it says on there is what's in there, I think. Uh, staplers, couple brushes, and to be honest, we could probably clean that out. There's just some uh, specialty bits and stuff in there. I think that's about it that's in there. And I think this is the charging tool. Actually, a couple different charging tools for the different lights here. Uh, tire repair, bunch of oh, bunch of plugs here that all came falling out. So that uh, rubber cement. Oh, some more. Of uh, those, uh, let's see, these are Torx. Uh, impact star bits, electrical testing tool, circuit tester, and then sockets. So we got half inch, three eighths, uh, three eighths metric, and then uh, more three eighths, three eighths standard here. Uh, we got ratchets in here, uh, three eighths ratchet, there's a couple quarter inch ratchets, uh, three eighths breaker bar. Let's see, uh, another quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch uh, breaker bar, extensions, big half inch extension, a couple sockets here that don't uh, fit because of the height here. Those are in there. And then off to the side here, there's a quarter inch set as well. Just a uh, standard uh, regular length there, I guess. So yeah, there we go. Like I said, three eighths and deep socket, metric, standard, and deep. And then it is a, a standard half inch socket set behind there. And there's the, uh, the half inch wrench there as well. Uh, a weeble wobble adapter. And there's one for the three, no, that's actually a quarter one. Okay, quarter one there. And then there's a three ace one there. Seems like it makes sense that, uh, let's be the other way around. It just makes sense to me anyway. Okay, there we go. So that's it for the, uh, the top tool chest there. Moving on down here. Uh, sandpaper, a couple more snap ring pliers. Sanding block. And Oh, just cheers in there. Ah, uh, it's a basketball hoop thing in the jigger. And uh, like I said, all kinds of sandpaper. So, 
you know, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,500, uh, 800, 400, 300, 200. I don't know, it's all in there pretty much. Assorted sandpaper. And some emery cloth as well. Got a bunch of that in there. Moving on down here, we got more air tools down here uh, for filling tire, just a blowing one. Another one for the tire, uh, checking gauge. Uh, this is the uh, regulator I usually use on my uh, paint gun here. It's got a, a water separator and then a pressure on it as well. Could technically be used for anything, but that's, uh, that's what I use it for. Uh, what else we got? Just some adapters, a uh, bunch of uh, cable ties, some really long ones and then some shorter ones and even shorter ones there. Well, shorter, they're not really that short yet, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, these are polishing rags, a couple of them in there. Uh, lamb's old polishing bonnet. I, I guess that's what's in there. I never actually used that. Uh, going one down here, instruction manuals. And then we got uh, gloves, a bunch of just random stuff in there. Yeah, like I said, all our instruction manuals pretty much down in there. And then uh, down below, a couple cordless drills. There's three of them in there. And then there's the uh, polishing buffing wheel. Oh, there's actually four drills down in there. Yep, an old skill saw. And there's uh, three half inch ones. I'm not sure what brand that one is, a Milwaukee one, and then a, a Chicago Electric Harbor Freight one. Okay, then everyone, moving on to the other side here, where we got uh, three of them to uh, go through. You know what, just to break it up, maybe I'll go through this one here first. This one's probably not gonna be quite as exciting as the other two. Uh, up here, we got screws, all different sizes. Uh, two inch, one and a half, one, uh, more, more one and a half. Actually, one of those might be different. Oh yeah, okay, different one and a halfs, yep versus just a regular type of screw in there. Uh, really long screws, five inches. We got some stainless ones, more stainless ones, more screws, uh, some four inch screws, some uh, looks like little one inch screws behind there. Like I said, all screws in there. And you know I'm just gonna go the next one over because there's more screws in this one. This is the big tubs of screws. So like three inches and uh, two and a half. So like, like the ones you like use a lot of. That's what's in there, a bunch of, uh, I think those are like one and a half, maybe one and a quarter, something like that. Or uh, three inches, one and three quarters. I think there's four inches behind there. There's a bunch of six inches in there as well. So yeah, all screws there in the top too. Uh, below here, some gloves uh, for the jacks, for pumping uh, a couple hitch balls there. Let's see, anything else in there? Yeah, that's pretty much it in there. Uh, hardware, lots and lots of different hardware here. Uh, let's see what's here. Yeah, electrical, set screws, uh, everything from grease fittings, springs, uh, snap rings, uh, roll pins, uh, lock washer assortment, wing nuts assortment. Uh, pretty much uh, been in all of these almost at least a little bit here. Uh, cotter pin assortments, uh, fuse kit. So there's electrical kit, wire nuts, um, more grease fittings. Interesting, you got quite a few grease fittings apparently. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, lock nuts, nylon lock nuts, metric bolt assortment there. Uh, wiring connectors. Uh, these are the E-clip assortments, hitch pins, uh, eye bolts. Yeah, like I said, I've done all kinds of different hardware in here. Uh, really, really comes in handy, this stuff. I mean, almost always in this stuff, you know, at least a little bit there. You, you never know when you need a set screw or a grease fitting or something like that. Really comes in handy. Uh, moving on down, roll of cloth for inside the drawers. Uh, basically, this is stuff you like to uh, put, you know, you line the inside of your drawer with. That's uh, what that is. Uh, heat gun, sawzall, uh, ratchet strap, wiring. I'm not even going to discuss this one. Everyone just, it's just a mess of wiring and a couple other odds and ends in there as well. Uh, miscellaneous chains, uh, some rope, uh, ho chain hoist. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's uh, no, no idea. That's just some electrical that probably fell out from that one up there and a small shovel. Okay. 
Uh, moving on here, more electrical stuff, uh, boxes, plugs, switches, um, staple, well, these really aren't staples anymore. I guess, well, I guess they do call them staples yet, don't they? Okay. Uh, like I said, just uh, miscellaneous electrical stuff, face plates, stuff like that. Uh, okay, I don't think that one actually comes out, it's stuck in there. But uh, sanding belts, the sander, and then uh, this is just uh, AC system, uh, whatchamacallit, gas, basically. Uh, moving up, some chainsaw blades, uh, sharpening tool, calipers, 12 inch caliper, or chainsaw chains, I should say, in there. Uh, let's see what's here. Fine chisel set, large drill bits. Uh, large drill bits here go from half inch, well, the half inch is broken and missing. I never bother replacing it because, like, all the other sets have half inches in them. But from half inch to but yeah, from half inch all the way up to one inch there, and they go in uh, 30 seconds increments. Uh, where that comes in handy, and then here's the uh, chisel set. Don't use these very often, just a couple times gotten into them, but chisel, I forget, what is this, from quarter, I think that is. Quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, three quarters, and one inch. So that's kind of the nice chisel set there, if you will. Okay, that uh, pretty quickly does that one there. Like I said, not a whole lot of real exciting stuff in there, just a lot of hardware stuff, you know, that really comes in handy when you need it. And as I mentioned, everyone, last video, uh, not all of these are my tools. Again, we got three people's worth of tools out here, so this is why you kind of see, well, there's, I guess, there's technically, we'll call them three tool chests, even though that one's sort of, it's, it is one, but it's not more for hardware. Uh, anyway, moving on to this one here. And no, folks, I'm not gonna tell you which one's mine. You can, you can figure it out in the video. Uh, let's see what's here. Moving on to this tool chest here, which is a little bit hard to get to here because I got a tractor parked right behind me, but uh, we got a Dremel here. Dremel 4300. Heck, whoop. Oh, we just broke it. There's the uh, Dremel. This is actually a fairly new Dremel. Just got another one here. Oh, a couple months ago, because the old one gave out on us. Now we can't get it shut again. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if it doesn't shut. It's inside here. If I set it down here, then I can. There we go. Uh, Milwaukee Accessory Impact Set. So it's got, uh, like I said, all the little bits you need for uh, using the small impacts. Uh, same thing in this one, just more assortments, links. Really, really come to handy. Can't highly recommend these enough, everyone. Really nice sets. And I'm not even sure what uh, what number those are, but. Okay, moving on here, we got uh, some door panel, basically anything for door panels, removing stuff along those lines. Plastic uh, pry bars, uh, they're kind of for door paneling and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, anything along those lines. A 40 inch, three quarter inch, breaker bar and then uh, below that i think this is 24 or 28. don't remember either 24 or 28 inch long half inch uh ratchet there i think that's pretty much everything that's in there moving on down here we got uh, drill bits assorted drill bits lots and lots of assorted drill bits here uh, we got some of those things um, spade bits uh, there's a drill bit set here that's mostly complete uh, there's a drill bit set here that is I think this is mostly incomplete. Yeah, mostly incomplete. Uh, there's another set of drill bits in there. That is yeah, mostly complete. And then uh, just more drill bits in here. This is why I didn't replace the half inch drill bit in the other set, by the way. There's like, you know, take your pick of them in there. A couple random taps, drill bits in there. Uh, this is just a heated wiper blade there. Got a project coming up. I might use that on here at some point. Okay, moving on next, we got Allen keys, uh, more drill bits in here. This is a, I believe this is a, well, okay, almost complete set. It's missing one. Uh, 1164, oops, dropped it. 1164 there. That's another Harbor Freight set, by the way. Uh, they surprisingly, at least they did anyway, I don't know if they still do, uh, make some decent drill bits. Uh, T handles, lots and lots of random Allen keys here. You get these, you know, like all your tools that come with Allen keys, that's where all these are. And then there's just some miscellaneous big ones here as well. And let's see what's here in this one. Uh, angled screwdrivers. And a couple different sizes, a couple different configurations. 
Had a uh, scenario a while back where we actually had to uh, had a straight head. We needed to get out of a really tight spot. Uh, we basically couldn't get any turn on it, so we literally made our own. We got one that's 45, and then there's one that's you know straight on. And we literally had to use both of these because we could barely get a turn on it. So we made uh, two specialty ones there. Uh, like I said, one that's 45 and one that's, well, I don't know, what do you want to call it, 90, 180, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's that drawer that I need to uh, clean up. Okay, all better. Need to figure out a way to do this uh, with both hands here. Uh, let's see, did I, oh, missed one here. Okay, let's go back up here. Uh, we got large sockets. So this is metric deep sockets, impact rated, half inch drive. Back here, we got more sockets. These are big ones. These are the three quarters metric deep sockets, impact rated. I uh, was just start at 27 all the way up to 38 millimeter. Um, let's see what's, oh, this is one of those uh, specialty sockets. These are kind of cool. Oh, if I can get it out here. Uh, so, yeah, if you really got a stubborn something or other, this works pretty good for that. Got one of those strip bolts. That's kind of what that is for. You know, I don't need it very often, but when you need it, it comes in handy. Uh, various adapters here, all the way from quarter up to, I think that's one inch. And then there's a one inch to three quarters. And actually, I think if this goes together right, it should be the entire set. So yeah, that goes on there and then, yep. Oh, actually, I guess we're missing one. It's missing the three quarters to half, I guess. Okay, three quarters to half is missing there. Uh, moving on down, more impact sockets there, uh, sanding belts for the uh, bench sander there, the one inch, and then some holders for wrenches. Uh, we were using these, if you remember up on my first review, or my first shop tour video there, we got our wrenches up on the rack. Uh, we used these at first, but they don't they don't stay in there, that doesn't hold them, so that's why I'm not using those. Uh, vice grips, and then various pigboard assortments here, and then uh, going over to, we actually got more pegboard stuff right in there. Uh, down here, uh, sprinklers, and also a pulling tool. And the uh, sprinklers there, we just take them out in the winter time, so that's why they're in there. Okay, we'll just work our way back up. Tires, ratchet straps, or tire wheels from various things that we've pulled off no longer exist. Uh, or even in that one. Uh, Dremel tools and accessories, pretty much what's in there. Uh, this is pretty much an empty one except for a three-quarter socket, uh, plugs, and a rusty needle that doesn't work. Rusty, what is this, half inch? Looks uh, maybe a 9 and 16, something around the wrench. Moving up, we got cutting tools, large cable cutters, cutters, large scissors, that type of thing. And then a large puller. This is for like brake drums and stuff like that. Can be used with other stuff too, but uh, works particularly good for that. Oh, and a miscellaneous uh, cutter that is probably be down in there or a different drawer altogether. Okay, everyone, that does it for that one there. Hopefully, you folks are not getting bored yet. We got one more to do yet. Uh, so, starting with this one here and all the stuff on top. By the way, is the uh, stuff for this uh, tractor project here, by the way. And there's some miscellaneous stuff up top here as well. Uh, just some oil there. And these are all uh, garden seeds in that one. Uh, welding helmet here. Optrel welding helmet. That's my uh, welding helmet. I uh, really like those Optrel helmets. They work really nice. Uh, okay, so uh, moving on here. Let's open up this drawer. We got all kinds of stuff in here. So this might take a moment to go through. I uh, got another one of those uh, Milwaukee uh, tool sets here. Uh, again, like I was mentioning, everyone, got uh, multiple people here, so there are multiple sets. So there's a Milwaukee, again, the, pretty much, I think, the same sets almost. Uh, back here, we got, I think these are aluminum rods, aluminum brazing rods, aluminum brazing rods there. Uh, we got some shop towels, DeWalt battery charger. Uh, got a smoke detector there. Uh, stapler, got a brass hammer. There's some uh, punches down below there. Some more punches. A bottle of blinker fluid, because you need blinker fluid, you know. Uh, pressure washer tips and nozzles in there. A little, uh, what do they call this, uh, crow's foot claw for pulling nails. Uh, shark bite, this is a plastic tubing cutter. 
uh, hose wrap, uh, staples for the stapler. Uh, this inside here is a dial indicator. So there's a dial indicator in there. Don't use it very often, but uh, when you need it, you need it. In fact, I think we, yeah, we used it a couple times, I'd like to say, on the tractor here, if I remember correctly. Uh, guard for the uh, DeWalt grinder there, the 60-volt grinder. Uh, tubing cutter, small profile tubing cutter. These are the gas regulators for the welders. Uh, a couple different adapters for the welders. Oh, sorry, let me point the camera down there. A couple different adapters for the welders. And then this is a uh, stethoscope type of doohickey for uh, like detecting where the sound is coming from. Actually works out pretty good. It's uh, it's interesting how that uh, works. It's basically like a like I said a stethoscope almost. Uh, roll a string. Some more uh, bits here. I think what are these? Oh, those are Phillips. Somewhere in here there should be one for uh, Torx as well. The T35s. I think got a pack of because uh, yeah, it really usually burn through these pretty quick. Like the Phillips. And the uh, T35s, I don't see where those are at here. I thought, unless well, maybe we used them all up. Maybe we have to get more. Nope, so, self. more of those. Uh, moving on down here. Uh, kind of a lot of specialty stuff in this one. Uh, more uh, punches and then uh, chisel type punches there. A couple pointy ones. Uh, temperature probe. Uh, another electrical tool. Uh, cutters. A, uh, call it a deburring tool. Um, can't think of the actual name of that right now, but I always call it a deburn tool. Got our extractors here. So when uh, stuff goes wrong, yeah, you gotta get those out. Hate having to use those, they work like crap, but they do work. Uh, brass punches, because we need brass punches and you don't wanna wreck something, that's what you need. Uh, tachometer, RPM for measuring RPM. A pair of scissors, another electrical tool. Uh, another big cutters, cable cutters. Uh, battery tester here, so that tests how good the battery is. Uh, some Sharpies, some carbide burrs. When you really need to uh, grind something out, comes in handy. Uh, some batteries, I think the battery fits something in here, I don't remember what. Some soapstones for the soapstone, it's, I think that's up with, I forget where that's at again. And then also uh, some silver streaks for the silver streak pencil. Uh, they are up on the workbench there somewhere. And also in here, an angle measure. So in here, there's a digital angle measure for measuring angles. Again, moving on down here, we got wrenches. And I mentioned this in the last video, the uh, socket set I showed everyone here. Uh, this is the Harbor Freight one. I, I don't know what you call these type of sockets here, but they're... And not really deep sockets either. They're, they're short sockets, but you can fit on really deep bolts with these just because of the way they're designed. Again, I could probably show you better on this one than uh, the other one here. But essentially, the ratchet goes on like that. So again, you can use it on really long threaded bolts. Uh, anything like that works really good for that. You use this uh, quite a bit and the other set for that matter. It really uh, comes in handy. But this is the Harbor Freight one. And I like this one so much, went out and bought the, uh, the gear wrench set there which has a lot more size. This one doesn't have much for sizes, especially the bigger ones. Uh, and then again, like I said, wrenches. Uh, what does this start at? Quarter all the way to one inch. Got a bunch of adapters here going from quarter back to quarter. So from quarter to one, and then from one back down to quarter. And then a whole bunch of extensions, uh, half inch extensions, you know, three eighths extensions, quarter inch extensions, they're all in there. Random adapter, is that the one? No, I don't think that's the one missing from the other set. The other set was missing, I think, a three-quarter to half, wasn't it? This is a half to three-eighths. So. Uh, also, normally, the metric wrenches sit in here as well, but they're out on the workbench at the moment, so normally the standard and metric are in there. Moving on down. Uh, with these drawers here, these three drawers, quarter-inch, three-eighths, half-inch. So that's kind of how it's uh, worked out. And then in this one here, there's wrenches in with the uh, quarter-inch. So uh, these are long wrenches, metric and standard. So metric in the back. And like I said, these are just really long wrenches. And then same thing here, standard, just really long. Uh, more wrenches here. And then a quarter-inch, got a quarter-inch torque wrench. And then a quarter-inch standard and metric, uh, not deep socket, just regular sockets. 
And then again, standard and metric. These are color-coded deep sockets. I actually like the color-coded ones, believe it or not. Uh, kind of know, you know, okay, like you can see this blue in here gets used quite a bit. I think that's the 10 mil, right? Yeah, 10 mil. 10 mil gets used a lot. And then also, what is that? 7 16 yeah, that one's been used a few times as well. You can tell that the 10 mil, or the 8 mil, for those of you who work on vehicles, you, you'll know why. The 10 mil and the 8 mil are well used. Uh, moving on to the 3A's here. Uh, again, pretty much the same down here. It's uh, almost the same as the three quarters, or the, the quarters, I'm sorry. We got deep socket, both metric and standard. Oh, this is, okay, this is the standard one, SAE, and then the uh, metric, and then also regular depth socket, standard and metric. Also have Allen. So Allen and 3 Ace, and there's also, actually I think there's, is that 3 Ace? Maybe that's 3 Ace too. And then actually a couple of these on here actually are half inch ratchet as well. Uh, we got Crow's Foots, at least that's what I know them as. I'm not sure if there's a more appropriate name for these, but I know them as Crow's Foots. Uh, these go on the end of our ratchet there as well. And there should be, let's see, is this the stand? There should be a metric set as well, or if this is, what is this one? Uh, this is the standard one. So the metric one there. Yeah, okay. There's the metric one. Also a couple of uh, random sockets here as well. Uh, inside here we got a 3 ace impact set. Metric standard and then both deep and shallow sockets. Uh, small extension there. This is commonly what I'll grab when we're going out with the impact there. Just grab this set. This works out really nice for that. It's nice every now and then, you know, just having a a set that's in a case like that. You can just grab it and go. Uh, moving on down to the big stuff here, which seems like there's some stuff missing. I'm not sure. Usually not that empty space in there. Uh, same story here again as well. We got standard and metric, both shallow and deep sockets. And uh, yes, these are all Harbor Freight, as were most of the ones up here as well, mostly all Harbor Freight, except I don't think the Crow's Foots were. I'm not sure what brand those are. But you can see these are all Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight there as well. Oh, there is a uh, torque wrench here for 3 Ace as well, by the way. Uh, 3 Ace torque wrench. Oh, and I should mention these maybe too. Uh, we got wobble socket or wobble ratchets. Don't use them very often, but every now and then you get in a tight spot, these short wobble ratchets, they do come in handy. And then there's a regular ratchet as well. Let's see, anything else? No, that is actually it. Uh, same thing goes for the quarter too, by the way. Uh, quarter inch ratchet, and there should be a quarter inch wobble ratchet. Oh, there it is as well somewhere. Uh, then, okay, moving on down here, we got a, another torque, uh, more of a torque measuring, well, torque, torque wrench, I guess. I, I don't really know if you quite call it a torque wrench. Uh, there is actual a torque wrench there, half inch ratchet, half inch breaker bar, big half inch ratchet, big half inch ratchet. And uh, just a bunch of odds and ends sockets here, so. Oh, and there's a uh, the wobble half inch socket or a ratchet as well. Boy, getting these names uh, mixed up here. Uh, let's see what's here. Three quarter inch lug nuts. It's got the uh, plastic on it that's supposed to protect the tire there. I, I don't know how well that works, but that's the way it comes. Uh, and yeah, just a bunch of random sockets here. 30 millimeter. What is that one? 36. This one here is for removing the. What is it again? The on my truck here. Forget what they actually are on the truck again. For the front hubs, that's what they are for the front hubs. And just uh, yeah, another deep one and a half inch, deep one and a half inch. Yeah, when you need a special socket for something, everyone, that's kind of where they've ended up. I think most of these are half inch here. 24 mil, all deep sockets there. And moving on to the last drawer here. Got a half inch air impact there. Got the SDS hammer and more sockets in here. So socket sets. There is three quarters, one through one and a half. Yep, one and a half. And then I believe down below it is the, uh, the metric ones. So you've probably seen these already. These I think are the same ones. Three ace. Well, actually, maybe not. You might not have seen these before. These are three ace through one and a quarter half inch impact rated deep sockets. Okay, moving on here, moving on. Uh, and here we got a dado set. 
and that goes on the table saw there, I guess, yeah, table saw, I don't know, I guess you put it on other stuff too, maybe, but a dado set for the table saw. And here we got hole saws. Uh, below it, a uh, pneumatic stapler. So that's uh, just a stapler there. I'm about getting that up. And in here, more assorted hole saws. So larger ones, some extra holders for them. Yeah, just a bunch of random hole saws in there. Just, I, I'm not sure what that case went to. That's actually not what that case is for, but that's what we uh, use it for there, just to hold the uh, random hole saws we have. And this uh, just fits in here. So you kind of got to like put them in and uh, fold them down. Move it up. We got half inch deep socket impact set. Uh, these are all deep sockets, standard and metric. Again, Harbor Freight. Moving up, we got Allen keys, both metric, well, this is the standard one, and then metric there. And inside here, a bunch of special bits. So a bunch of, uh, if I can get it open here, there we go. So like I said, a bunch of specialty bits. This is like working on vehicles and stuff and uh, manufacturers, they put the weirdest uh, fit or the weirdest screws they can find on them that just are the most obnoxious. So stuff like that. What else do we got in here that's kind of weird? Uh, stuff like those. Yeah, just all that weird stuff. Uh, stuff like these. So again, don't have to use it very often, but every now and then, you know, got that weird screw that uh, you gotta take out. That's all that set is for. Okay, moving up. Oh boy, do I wanna open this one? Uh, it's all screwdrivers, full of screwdrivers, all different sizes. Uh, you know what, you folks might wanna see it. Let's, let's open it up. I'm gonna bring this over to the bench here. Okay, well, there's the uh, screwdriver set. Like I said, all kinds of screwdrivers. Also some more Allen keys, standard and metric, and then Torx as well. But yeah, all kinds of screwdrivers here. Everything from Torx, which that is not in its thing there. Let's stuff that back in. We can do this one-handed. Come on, get, get in there. There we go. Uh, ratcheting driver, small Phillips, small slotted, large slotted, big Phillips. Uh, small square bits and all kinds of assorted bit assortments as well torques and squares and uh, I forget the, the square ones have a name I forget what they are again everyone but uh, these are not Phillips yeah what is the other one that is Phillips but is not I think that's what those are they look like Phillips if you know if folks know what I mean they look like Phillips but they're not there's those in there uh, Allen, some, some small socket ones. Yeah, just all screwdrivers in there. Uh, really comes in handy. Don't use it very often again, but uh, you know, when you need a set of screwdrivers with the oven, grab that and yeah, you can go with that. And then moving up here to the next one. Okay, all kinds of stuff in here. What do we all got in here? Uh, spade bits. So we got spades, what is that, like quarter? I think that's quarter, yeah, quarter through one and a half. So all kinds of spade bits there. That's Irwin's set. We're gonna have to set some stuff up here so we can see everything in here. Uh, more hole saws in here. This is just a cheap hole saw set. But that is what's in there. I don't really use that one very often anymore. Uh, and then we got a bunch for drilling concrete, a bunch of concrete drill bits here. Those are SDS as well as a couple other ones, a couple SDS hammer bits. Uh, back here we got some counter sinks. We got some large tapping dies. Let's see, this is a three quarter inch die. Some large drill bits here as well. There's a seven ace die. Uh, somewhere in here, there should be a seven ace tap as well. There is a five ace die. Three quarter, no, that's five ace, five ace tap. Like I said, there should be a tap and die. Actually, what is that what's in here? That's what's in there, okay, yep. There's the seven ace, seven ace tap. And that's probably the three quarter tap and that one won't bother getting that out. Uh, what is this, a one and a quarter drill bit? Another one and a quarter drill bit. I'm not sure what we got two of them for. Interesting. Gonna have to get everything back in here again. That's gonna be fun. This uh, this uh, particular one like just fits in here. Uh, anything else? So small files, small files. Oh, and there's more 
regular hammer drill bits, not SDS type down below there. That's what's in that white package. A couple different sizes in there. So that's what's in that drawer. Almost done here, but almost done. One more drawer, I think, and we'll have it. Okay, not much in here, just a uh, needle scaler, a uh, book, Irwin Square Reference Guide. Okay, interesting. And a uh, spare computer for my 1988 Ford Ranger. I'm not sure why that's in there, but <laughs> that is apparently where that is. Okay, everyone, so there we go. Wow, hopefully that didn't uh, take too long. You folks didn't get too bored there, but that is the tools. Again, if there's something you'd like to see more of, let me know. We can do a little bit more you know, in-depth if you'd like to see something. So again, everyone, let me know. And of course, if you have any comments or questions as well, be sure to uh, throw them down below. So with that, everyone, I think that's going to wrap up the uh, shop tour here. Yes, a little bit uh, long overdue, but we finally got to it here. So yeah, again, everyone, have any comments or questions about either uh, the uh, shop tour or the kind of the tours through the tool chest here, let me know. I guess uh, when I edit this video, I'll see once how long it is. Uh, I try to make it as quick as possible, but uh, yeah, again, quite a bit to go through. So anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll have to do this again here, maybe in like a year or something, just see what's, uh, what the new tools, because again, I mean, who just buys a set of tools and then doesn't buy any more after that, right? You're, you're always buying tools, adding something, especially if you're working on vehicles and stuff. Seems like there's always something special you need. So, and everyone, again, thanks for watching and until next time.